Hello Underwater friends, today I'm gonna show you how I do color correction, color grading on my GoPro 11 Black using flat mode and even at the end using normal mode on videos. First, what we want to do, we want to go on color here and then as you can see, you have the sequences. So the first few sequences, I use the flat mode, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you don't know DaVinci Reserve too much, the color grading, it's here the image that I'm gonna correct. Here we have nodes. Here I'm gonna use today the color wheels. I think it's the easiest. Here you have the automatic white balance that doesn't work always for underwater. Here you have the picker for the white balance. Here the temperature to make it warmer or colder. Here the tint to make it green or magenta. You can higher the contrast, pivot, the details. And then here you have color boost. If you want to lower the shades, the highlights, change the saturation, the hue, and L mix. Here you can choose what you want to have. I think the curves is one of the good things for me. And here I keep the parade. You can have other options like vector scope and stuff like this. But parade for me is very nice because it's very easy to understand. So on top around 1000, you have the highlights and at zero, you have the darkest point. So right now we have only one node. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do Shift S and we're gonna add new nodes. To change the name, I right click and I do node label. So for this one, for example, I'm gonna call it uh, white balance, enter. And this one, I can call it uh, contrast, enter. This one, I cannot call it adjust. This one, I can call it color and so forth. So if you don't want to spend time every time you do it to rename them, you can just use the same technique, same principle and do it always the same. For me, what I think is number one, I do the white balance because I want the colors to be quite even. Then I will do the contrast, meaning that I'm going to bring the high colors to the highest and the dark to the darkest. And then I can do some adjustments, some small corrections on colors and everything. And then after that, I will bring more or less color depending on what I want to do. But there is not only one way to do things. Just for example, for the white balance, I could do auto white balance by clicking here. For underwater, most of the time it doesn't work so well. As you can see for this one, it's horrible. So we do control Z. I can also use the picker here and find a gray spot and click on it. It's a little bit better. As we can see, the things are about even. So I could work with that, but I can also just, you know, look at it and say, okay, I want to add some red and then maybe lower the green a little bit. And right now I'm quite even. So I'm quite happy with what I have. Number two, contrast. Contrast, so I'm going to higher the highlights and lower the low ones. Always try to look at your vector scope, your image and the waves, the curve. Like this, you can figure out what's the problem. So this one was shot using flat profile. So of course it's very flat. Nothing is very black, nothing is very high. So I could just change the contrast here. And as you can see, it's getting higher on the high and lower on the low. It kind of works, but I can also do it manually. So manually, what I'm gonna do is the low ones, I'm gonna darken it, and then I'm gonna brighten the mid tones and the highlight. Still not enough for the dark, so I can go like this, okay? Of course, we can always readjust a little bit later. Okay, so now I'm quite okay. Now for the next one, adjustment, I can do many adjustments. I can change my tint, I can change the temperature, I can change many things. But right now, what do I think? It's maybe not enough red for the mid-tones. So what I can do is just go here and bring it up a little bit. And actually, my image is much better than it was before. Okay? We can still go back on this, the white balance, or we can go back on the contrast. In that case, I can still decide to lower the blacks. Okay? All of the corrections can, all of the corrections can be done in many different ways. All of the shots that we're going to correct today have been 
taken in Bali. If you want to come with us to do safaris, we organize everything for you from hotel to diving, transfer, and even visiting the temples and stuff. If you want to do photo course and video course with me, no problem. And we also organize day trip for photographer with their private guide. I put the link in the description, proofdivingbali.com. So at first, I'm gonna click on the first one. The one that is red around is always the active one. So what do we have as a problem? Once again, no black, no highlight. The green, the blue is not so nice. And this is probably too yellow. So maybe we can change the tint on this one. If we go this way, it's not good either because it's even worse than before. So we make it a little bit more blue. And on this one, we see that it's quite even, all of the colors. So maybe I can just change the tint because I think it's a little bit too green. And like this, I have something much better. By clicking here, I can see how it was before and after. Okay, with and without the correction. So maybe this one, it's still a little bit too green, too yellow. Okay, so we can go a little bit more. Okay, my white balance is done. Now I'm gonna do contrast. So I'm gonna lower the lows or I'm gonna actually try with contrast. And this one, it works much better. We just need now to lower it a little bit here with the wheel. Like this, everything will go down a little. Here we go. Now we see that we have too much green. So here on the adjustment, we can lower just the green. And here for color, we can decide that we want a little bit more saturation. And then we could do minor adjustments again. Next one, again, too much yellow, especially too much green. And the blue is a little bit too much. So shift S a few times. I make sure that I'm working on the first one. We're gonna do the white balance. So the white balance, we can do it with temperature and tint. But once again, we see here that we have a problem with blue. So we can already lower the blue. And now we see that we have even more problem with the yellow. So we can change the tint here and go away from the green there. Okay, so actually everything we've done here was to try to get this a little bit less green and a little bit less yellow to make it nicer. Now we see that we have too much high colors for the blue. That's gonna be our next change for the contrast. So contrast, we can lower the dark like we've done before, but this time we see that we're picking here. So we can just pick the blue one and lower it. You see now I'm not above anymore, but because I've done this, now it made the adjustment and the blue is not as present. So I can go on the third node and this time I'm gonna try to lower the greens, okay? I have to go back to the second one because now it's a little bit too dark. So I can just higher the mid-tones a little bit and probably lower the highlights for the blue, but just the highlights a little bit. The problem is every time we're correcting it, it's adjusting the other ones as well. So what we can do on the next one is just readjust the white balance. So we can go again, a little bit more on the blue. Okay, because some of the adjustments we've done have affected the rest. And same thing here, probably there is too much red, so we can lower it a little bit. Okay, so it's much better now. Next one again, flat profile. This one's gonna be difficult because it's all brown and we have the turtle in the middle and you can see the white balance seems to be quite okay. So shift S. This one for the white balance, I don't think we're gonna do much, but we're gonna try to do the manual white balance because it's a little bit too brown. So now it makes it a little bit too blue, but it's still a good start because now we can still decide to bring up the reds and then make it a little bit warmer than it was. And maybe that way, how is it compared to before? Well, I think it's too much blue, so we can lower it. It's gonna be difficult to make this one pop too much because the turtle and the background kind of look the same. Now we can work on the contrast. We want to lower the darks and we want to higher the mid-tone, okay? And then for the 
small adjustment, we can lower some of the greens. And I think it's already much better. Next one we're going to do, this one was shot not using the flat profile. So we can see that this one is already using much more of the scope. You know, like it's almost peaking here and the darks are almost black. So again, Shift S, start this one with the white balance. Let's try an automatic one. Okay, this one it worked a little bit. Let's start from there. The second one, contrast. So we see that we're too dark for everything. So we're gonna higher it a little bit up to the point where nothing is lower. And actually, we're gonna try to do it in different steps, meaning that the blue and the greens, we're gonna do it that way. Same thing for the highlight. We're gonna lower just the blue for now because it's peaking a lot and a little bit of the green. Okay, so now it's a little bit better, but it became all green. So what we can do is we can adjust it from here. Okay, like this, we remove some of the green and we can also remove some a little bit that way. Now we see that we're still a little bit peaking, so we can adjust here the highlights and lower it for all of it because we don't want to be peaking. If it's in the bottom, like for example, is this zone is too black. We can see it from here, but it's not really a problem because it's really black, but this was not supposed to be too bright. Maybe we can lower again a little bit of the dark and we have a nice contrast now. Final one. So what do we have on this one? We see that it's all too dark, but nothing is at the bottom. So we have a problem on this picture because the mid tones are not bright enough. So let's start with white balance. So we pick the picker and then we go on there. So now it's very, very, very red. So control Z and let's try to pick another spot, maybe here. Okay, way less, but now it's too green. So we can bring this one up and actually make it a little bit warmer. Okay, for white balance, we're quite okay. But as you've seen, we can always readjust. The first white balance is to try to be as even as possible. So we have all of the three, red, green, and blue that are about the same level. And then we can adjust and make mini adjustments. So for contrast now, we see that we don't go up enough. And actually we see it from the dark picture. So we can bring up the mid tones. And actually bringing up the mid tones brought the black down a little. We can also bring the highlights and now we can see that our picture is much brighter. We can still do a little bit more. Next one for the adjustments, we can say that, oh, but our turtle is too green. It shouldn't be that green and the blue is not the way it should be. So we can lower the greens a little and maybe bring a little bit highlights and mid tones for the red. Okay. And I think this is much better than it was before. Now, because we've done other shots with flat profile, we can really notice that the color is completely different on this one and this one. So this one, what we could do is go on the last one and bring up the saturation. So it will be more colors and it will help match it better with the next one. On this one, we can do the opposite. On color, we can lower a little bit the saturation and like this, the shots will match much better. This one, the same, it's too much color. So we can always go down on saturation. And actually now we realize that compared to this one, it's not red enough. So we can go on our adjustment here and bring up a little bit of red and maybe also this one. Okay, thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you want to see more of this content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. And if you want, you can also put a thumbs up and give a comment. In the comment, don't hesitate also to tell me what you would be interested in seeing in the next videos. Bye bye, happy bubbles.